Okay, here we are. It's now Monday afternoon. I've got through packing all my items. It was like two totes full of books and CDs and DVDs. And I'm going to kind of show you what I picked up yesterday at our first post farish yard sale. Actually, we went to three, found something at two. So I'm going to show you a few things and give you an idea of what I look for, especially when they're in abundance. So here we go. I think I mentioned before, little short run books. Not many of them are made. This one is relatively inexpensive, $8. I paid a quarter for it. Books are kind of dirty, gotta dust them off. Came out of an attic. Anyway, fishing rods. This is one of two that I'm gonna show you that I've priced already. This book comes in at a whopping $25, paid 50 cents for it. Okay, this is the only other one I've priced. Very short run, spiral bound, probably not many made. This is a $75 book, paid a quarter for it. Since in a pattern here. Okay, and I've mentioned before about books about counties and cities and sequestentennials. These books will sell not very fast, but someone who lives in the town or who did live in that town will want this book. Anywhere from $25 to $100. These are these how much these books are worth. Found three of these. This is my hometown, Byron. I've sold these before for $10 each. Got them a quarter piece, 75 cents for $30. Good deal. All right. Here's some more of the books I was talking about. Early History of Upsom County, Georgia. I have not priced it, but I know it's between $1 and $100. Could be more, but not bad for 50 cents. Same deal here, Crawford County, Georgia. History book. Family history book, genealogy, tracing family trees. You, sometimes you just can't buy these books anymore. They may have some on Amazon, may have them on eBay, but they will always sell eventually. Land so dedicated. Stop Warner Robins, Georgia, Houston County. Again, right where I live, near where I live. It's a twenty-five, fifty-dollar book. I already, I have several of these in my inventory already. They don't sell very fast but they do sell. I'm just going to flip through these pretty fast. I didn't have them priced them. Run in the River. Books about pole boats, steamboats, and timber rafts. I checked these before I bought them and I know they're worth at least five to ten dollars, brought usually more. A sketch of Creek County and letters of Benjamin Hawkins. Again, county, city, state history books. Short run, Probably not a lot made. Always pick them up, especially if they're cheap. Now they're five and ten dollars each, like some estate sales have them. Don't bother with them. But if you can get them for a dollar or less, maybe two, always pick them up. Again, this was like a five or six dollar book for a quarter. It's a pretty good turnaround. History of Macon and Central Georgia, right up the road. Again, it's a five. To to ten dollar book, maybe more. I've had these in my inventory before, and price will fluctuate. But I know I'll get more than my fifty cents out of it. History of Lawrence County. This is a big, big book. It's got some issue right here. You see where the spine has pulled away from the cover. You have to disclose that. But otherwise, it's a big book with maps and pictures. I know I'll probably get at least $75 to $100 for that book. 50 cents. Found George. He doesn't work. His original battery's dead. And he looks like he's been open. But if you can look in here, it's hard to tell. He has not been taken out of the packaging. So... I can't say he's new in box, but I can say he hadn't been removed from the packaging. 
Um, if I could slide a new battery in it, that'd be great. If not, I'll sell it as is. Say so it may or may not work, and I'll have to price him. Rods and reels. This guy who the state seller went to, he made fishing poles. He had all kinds of fishing pole material, books, calendars. This is new and shrink wrap. I found new and shrink wrap vintage calendars. This one's from 1998. Someone will want that. Ten dollars at least. This was unusual. And this costs a little bit more than I'm usually paying at yard sales. We pay ten dollars for this. This is obviously 101 Dalmatians. It's got all the little dogs in there and all the little figurines. I know we'll probably get at least a hundred dollars out of that. Yeah. The history of L Lummis Industries. I have no idea what it is, but it's a history company history book, a business history book. And I know this will sell as well. It looks like 125 year history of Lummis Industries. And like I said, don't know what that is, but I know it'll sell. Service manual, Harley Davidson. Most of you know that anything Harley Davidson puts out will sell eventually. So always pick up service manuals. Again, these soft fat books I paid a quarter for. I know it'll bring probably eight to ten dollars, probably a whole lot more. I haven't checked it. I also picked up some magazine, little magazine things. Ferrari magazines, Cavallino. I've never heard of them before, but they're from 1990. Vintage magazines. Someone once told me, vintage magazines will sell, and I found out that's true. So, especially ones about Ferraris. I'm counting on those being at least 10 to $15 a piece. Again, a quarter. Same. Story with these, Triumph and Austin Healy's. These are parts catalogs. I don't know a lot about cars, parts catalogs, but I know they will work or sell rather. So we'll go with that and say make some good money on those. Roadster Factory. Not sure what this is, but it's a very dirty book. It was, it's. You know, it was mailed to him, so it's got a mailing label on the back. Um, maybe someone want it. Cost a quarter. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Parts catalog, Austin Haley's. Don't know a lot about them, but I know they little sports cars, and sports cars enthusiasts will pay a lot for what they want. MG Workshop Manual. Again, vintage manuals, whether it be cars, tractors, bulldozers, always pick them up because they will sell. I sound like a broken record, but I have to stress people avoid books, but they will sell. They're easy to store, easy to pack, easy to ship. Again, we're back to making fishing poles. And a little newer book, I think it was like worth five dollars, but for fifty cents, I'll take it. I'll take it every day. Jaguar owner's workshop manual. You know, Jaguars enthusiasts will buy these manuals. I said, don't have prices yet, but I'm showing you what you can find if you look for it. Old fishing lures and tackle. For those who collect things, you know, these kind of books, you know, are wealth of information. You can usually find the same kind of information on the internet now, but some people like books. I still like books. Individually, these aren't worth a whole lot, but put them together on eBay as a bundle and get $10, $15 for them, maybe more. For 50 cents, you know, expenditure, I'll do it every day. Disney's animal, animal Stories. 
Need I say more? Disney. This will probably probably go in our booths, our antique mall booths. It's the books like this usually don't sell very well online because there's so many, they're mass produced. But throw them in the antique booth, put a five dollar price tag on it, and some parent come wandering through will grab it for the kid. Good find. Again, nothing but a typical hiking trail book. You know, for pay the quarter, get five dollars out of it every day of the week. Not real sure, never seen one of these. It's a disto mapped automatic mileage <laughs> dialer. So I guess you can figure out mileage from wherever you're going before you go. Obviously this was for Google Maps, which makes it very vintage. And I know someone to pick it up. I picked up a couple of Marine Corps books, vintage Marine Corps books. Terrorism counteraction for Marines. No idea on pricing. Leading Marines. Again, no idea. Put them together. Another Marine Corps terrorism book. Put these three in a lot. I'll make a little money off them. The Joy of Muscadines. How many out there knows what a muscadine is? Raise your hand. I know what it is. It's like a grape, but it's got a little seed in it, big old seed. So basically you pop it in your mouth and it's like a big seedless grape. Of course you'd spit out the seed, obviously. But they make wine out of it, muscadine wine. And maybe it's a southern thing, or maybe you know what it is, but this will sell too. A couple more fishing books, fly fishing. Fly fishing's, you know, big among some people. These are not real expensive books, but, you know, 5 or $10 every day of the week. Indian books. I picked up a lot of Indian books over the years. I always check them. Not everyone's worth anything, but I think this one's worth 5 or $6. Quarter. You know, I'll do it. Okay, that's all the books that I picked up. At another sale, the lady... Had picked had a bunch of Disney items for sale, sort of like my mystery box for the Taz stuff. This is going to be a mystery box for Disney. Let's see, this is just one of the boxes that I have. It has little wind up poo stuff. I'm not sure. Little Disney cups. More Disney cups. Some of these are broken, the, the kids toys, but someone might want them. And Bugs Bunny. And hold that thought. Sorry about that. Nineteen sixty six Snoopy Bank. Plastic. And it's Chex Party Mix and Peanuts. I love Chex Mix. I make some every year. I'm sure this will go to someone who loves Chex Mix. But again, those Disney Squeak Toys, Disney Rattles, all these are vintage stuff. Well, Disney, it says Disney and Avon on it. I'm not sure what that is. Candy dish, not the task dish I found. I'm not sure. Good stuff. And that's just one of the totes. Now I got this one. I've got some furniture in here. I'm not real dollhouse like furniture. I'm not really sure what that is. And more vintage Disney stuff. Mickey's. Again, not sure what some of this is. An Aladdin magic carpet. I don't know. Looks like I might blow it up. I don't know. Again, Disney Canteen. A little pool behind Disney thing for kids. Still kind of works. Still pops up, still goes. That'll sell. I paid $30 for all this Disney, all these Disney items. I paid $15 for all the books. 
I paid five dollars for the George Bush and I paid five dollars for the cast iron pan I did not show you that so cast iron pan in our booth ten to fifteen dollars or I might keep for myself I love cornbread anybody else here like cornbread raise your hand no oh, yeah yeah okay but well, this makes wonderful cornbread so there you go So that's what we got on our first yard sale post virus we already know there's at least one estate sale for next weekend that will go they said they're gonna only let you know 10 people in the house at a time you gotta wear a mask I showed you my mask and I think the dam has broke now I think people are not quite as afraid as to get out of their house as they were back in March and all through April and I think the yard sales are starting to slowly come back and it's all I can say it's about time so I got to go through all these books. I got to list them. If I get a real good price for one or two, I'll, I'll certainly let you know. And if you have any questions about what you've seen, or if you like any of the books, you might want to, you know, you know, might want to buy it from me. I'll certainly tell you how. Send you my link to my store. And until the next time, we'll talk again.